So the genesis of the company really dates back to 2008, 2009. Firefly as a company kind of grew out of a need for improvements in parts and subsystems that were available for existing harvesters. We started building better depth controls and started getting requests for a harvester. Having everybody under one roof, manufacturing, service, engineering, parts, allows us to have a really tight communication loop. In-house, we have laser cutting, we have bending, we have machining, we have welding, sandblast, powder coat, and we have a huge supply of parts on the shelf. So because we own all the processes to build nearly every piece on all of our equipment, we can very quickly respond to customer needs. Raw steel comes in one door and finished parts and machines go out the other door. One of the things that sets us apart, I think, we really do invest a lot in our engineering group. We have a broad mix of backgrounds. Several of us grew up on farms. We believe as an engineering group that until our customers are successful, we are not successful. So we have to strike the balance between fundamental design and analysis and getting it built, getting it into the field so that it can be tested. We use tools as engineers that didn't even exist 20 or 30 years ago. We have a software tool that we can feed in the geometry of a part, the loads that are on that part, and it will tell us what the stress is at any given point in that part. We use a flow analysis tool to optimize the cooling systems on our machines. Just about every part that we design for our machine is first modeled in a CAD software. We have a culture of solving problems, not assigning blame. One area where we really, really drive improvement on the machines is in the field testing. We get our hands dirty, we go to the field, we throw rolls of sod onto the machine, we pick up scrap, every one of us goes out and turns wrenches. We are not the typical engineering organization. The creation of the manufacturing piece of this company was nearly as difficult as designing and building the first harvester. When you build a manufacturing organization, there are thousands of moving parts. We, as an engineering team, needed to decide what sorts of processes would be the best processes for building what we needed to build. In our machine shop, we have the ability to build both turned and milled parts. We have a CNC lathe with live tooling. We have a pair of lasers now, which means that we can cut up to an inch of mild carbon steel. We can cut aluminum, stainless steel. It's all high speed and very efficient. These are machines that use technology that wasn't even available 10 years ago. We have a 10-foot press brake that allows us to take those laser-cut parts and put flanges on them, bend them into boxes, enclosures, saves a lot of welding. It allows us to stiffen a part. You can use a, a lighter gauge material and still get a stiff, strong part, which allows you to save weight on the machine, which is a critical, a critical component. The critical piece of our, of our weld shop are the welders themselves. We've spent a lot of time and energy recruiting the best welders that we can find. We know that we've had some quality issues in our paint department. For the highly corrosive environments in Florida, you really have to sandblast every part down to bare steel. Sandblasting removes any residual oils from the surface. It slightly rounds the corners and it gives this paint a rough texture that it can really grab onto. The other measure that we take is every part that we powder coat gets a, a first coat of zinc rich primer. Following that is the color top coat. Every part gets baked in an oven until the, the powder coat is fully cured. The last group to touch the machine before it goes out to a customer is our assembly team. We use a mix of sub-assembly groups and assembly line to build our harvesters. That assembly team is meticulous. They torque the bolts that need to be torqued. They mark the bolts after they've been verified. Before a harvester leaves our building, the assembly manager runs through hundreds of points of inspection on every machine, checking the motion of every sub-assembly, checking fasteners for tightness. Every function of the machine is verified before it leaves the door. Like all the other teams at Firefly, our parts department is second to none. We have 
world-class management and absolute dedicated team members shipping parts to farms. At Firefly, we understand that for our customers, uptime on their machinery is critical for their success. The Firefly service team works hand in hand with the parts department to maximize our customers uptime. We recognize that if you have, for some reason, a harvester down in the field, it is an absolute necessity to get that machine running as quickly as possible. In addition to our field techs, Firefly employs a team of in-house phone support technicians who work hand in hand with the engineering team, with the parts department, and with our field techs to give the customer immediate support when they need it. At Firefly Equipment, our core purpose is this. We improve people's lives by solving problems through creative, disciplined engineering, operational excellence, and epic teamwork.